I'm surprised that Donald Trump hasn't moved yet on IRS reform, uh, and I hope it hasn't slipped his agenda. I hope that he moves quickly on it. The commissioner of the IRS appointed in the wake of the Tea Party audit scandal is John Kosakin, Kosakinen, and uh, he was appointed in 2013 for a five-year term, but he can be removed at the pleasure of the president uh, without any great problem. And Trump should remove him and put someone who is independent uh, in charge. The IRS, the IRS activities in auditing the Tea Party and signaling out conservative groups for intrusive document demands that tied them up and for uh, audits that kept, led them into litigation uh, is a terrible record of suppression of free speech by the powers that be. But simply replacing the leader of the IRS with someone better will not solve the problem because the problems in the IRS are not top down. They were not so much ordered by Obama as they were bottom up, driven by the radical left wing Treasury Employees Union that unionizes the IRS and controls much of its management. Uh, indeed, the contract with the IRS gives the union extensive powers to manage, to promote, to assign personnel. Uh, the union in the IRS needs to be broken, and there's an easy way to do it. Uh, the law, federal law, prohibits unionization of certain agencies. You can't have a union in the FBI or in the CIA, for example, and you shouldn't be able to have a union in the IRS. Congress, by simple majority, uh, can and should pass a, a, res a law banning unionization in the IRS. Again, if this is filibustered in the Senate, they should consider the nuclear option of bypassing them and passing this legislation anyway. The left-wing drive of that Treasury Department union spells itself out in a series of injustices up and down the spectrum as the liberals who work there are determined to use their power to wage class warfare. And uh, we can't let that continue, and Trump has to use his authority to stop it. Thanks for watching.